I fully sat down like half an hour ago to film this and turned on my camera and it was dead. So the light is a little bit struggling. It's cause it's half an hour later. I have been a little bit busy. I did some stuff, made some life changes and those life changes have led to this haul. If you do not know, don't follow me on all the social media. I recently quit one of my jobs. So I no longer work at American Apparel for the time being. We're moving to a different location. And if you wanted to like stay with the company, get transferred, you had to give them like a ridiculous amount of days to be available. And I'm essentially full-time at Sephora, so I couldn't be full-time at two jobs, you know? But <laughs> our whole location went to between 80 and 90% off in the last like few days. And we were kind of allowed to like pull things aside that we wanted to purchase when they hit that price. So <laughs> I got some stuff. This bag I actually purchased, I think it was a day that they had an additional half off of sale prices. So it was like 75% off for those guys. And then this bag here that's falling apart. I had my name written on it so no one would steal it. This bag here was if that was 80 and 90% off. And then they also, I don't know if they do in the States, but at least in Canada, they have like an incentive system. So when you do things that are good, they give you like gold stars, literally. And you can cash them in for clothing. So some of it I bought, some of it I got for free because I'm okay at my job. Everything's literally shoved in here. I went over drinks that night too and stayed at a friend's and I literally had to carry this like beat up like broken ass bag home on the train the next day and i was like i look like a crazy person we'll start with the little bags there's only a few things in here and i'm just looking at it there's a trend there's certain patterns that i like oh shoot i think i bought things that i already own whatever <laughs> First thing I got was this top. This top was actually, I think, honestly, the first thing I bought when I started working at American Apparel almost two years ago. It's their little, like, sleeveless crop tank. It's just their basic crop top in houndstooth. Uh, it was on sale, so it was, like, only a few dollars. It's regularly, like, not even 30 bucks, and it was 75% off of that. Like I said, I have one, but I've worn through it. I've worn it so many times, I just thought I'd get a backup. On the houndstooth train, um, I picked up some bathing suits. I bought a lot of bathing suits in this haul. Sorry about that. The first top that I got is this one. It's just a triangle top in houndstooth. I thought I got the bandeau. Maybe I did. Oh, oops. I thought I bought the bandeau, but I guess I bought two pairs of bottoms. This is embarrassing. Um, this is just the triangle top. Again, it was like originally 30 bucks and 75% off. These have no padding, so sorry if you're like that. And they're really tiny. This is a medium and it's gonna be a little risque. I meant to buy the bandeau top instead of the high-waisted bottoms. Whoops, but I got the high-waisted bottoms. Again, these ones are really nice. They're super thick because they're like double-lined. I don't know if you can tell, but again, these were like $35, I'm pretty sure. 75% off. I feel like I got these in the wrong size too, but it's okay. But I got these side tie ones in houndstooth as well. I didn't at the time that I bought these, I didn't own the matching top, but as you'll see later, now I do. So I bought the jungle print ones as well. Houndstooth and jungle print are like my favorite. I love both of these patterns. And this one is like super, super soft. So now into this baby. I'm gonna start with the literal garbage bag first. Just got a little baby bralette. If you wanna like use your incentives properly, you need to hit like the exact number that you have. So this just rounded me off. To the next one, that guy. I got this sweater, which I totally didn't need, but it's legitimately the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my body. It's a boy's hoodie. It's called the Flex Fleece Turnout Pullover. It's like a hoodie made inside out. It's fleece on the outside and then normal sleeves, and then a normal pocket, but it's just a hoodie that's like fleece on the outside and the inside. It's honestly the most comfortable thing. And this sweater is so cute and so flattering and it fits me perfectly and I love it. This is called the Aslan sweater. It's one of the newer ones. It's got this like adorable little mock neck almost. It goes like really high up and then it is a knit. It's a smaller knit like the Fisherman I'm wearing now. This is like the one that everyone owns for American Apparel. This is a bigger knit and it's looser. This one's softer I find than a Fisherman and it's a lot tighter of a knit. Like you won't be able to see through it where this one you can see like where the black for my bra is. It does have 
long sleeves but it is cropped and then it has like little cuts it's be easier if i tried it on but i'm not going to you can see there it's got like a cutout on the side this is so cute it is really expensive let's see it's 88 dollars but if you treat them right they'll last you forever the sweater i'm wearing now i got as my fall clothing allowance in like october and I've worn it a bajillion one times. I left it in Nicole's and then Nicole wore a bunch. It's been washed. It's a little bit like stretched out, obviously, but it'll last you forever. Two more related sweaters. These guys are fishermen, so the same knit as the one I'm wearing today, but these are cropped fishermen's. And oddly enough, they fit completely different, but they're in the same size because it's American Barrel and everything's handmade, handmade, whatever, individually made. I got them both in size large because I find crop fishermen's are really cropped if you get them in like your normal size. Like if I got them in a medium, it would be too cropped. So I got them in a large. This one is the cream. Again, just a regular sweater. I cuff the sleeves on mine because I'm like that with all of them. And it's cropped, but it hits me like not right under the boobs. It hits me like a mid crop top, if that makes sense. But got a cream one just because why not? I also own this in zebra <laughs> zebra and black so i thought that would round out my neutrals and this color for some reason this color on blondes just does things to me so i needed it uh it's the exact same sweater again crop fisherman in forest i think this will be so pretty in the winter time and these ones were regularly 80 dollars 84 dollars but again they were 80 percent off now we get to the awkward duplicates. Like I said, I thought I bought the bandeau, but I guess I just owned two pairs of the high waist bottoms and houndstooth. This is just another little bralette. This one was like hella sale. It was like 95% off because this is a really, really old pattern that I haven't seen in forever. But again, these and then the Chrissy bra, which is like the sports bra type one with the band that you see all over Tumblr that are like knockoff Calvin Klein ones. I live in them, so I need it. I have one of those in black because I own like four of the black ones. But again, I I live in them. I bought these bottoms. I don't know if I own these bottoms. I know I own watermelon. This is also a great print, but it's been discontinued for forever. So I can never find the bottoms as far as I'm aware. I own in the triangle top and in the bandeau though. So I decided to get matching watermelon bottoms. Another one of my favorite prints. And then to match the jungle print bottoms that I previously bought, I bought the triangle top. In jungle print this one i think i got in a large because i want it to be a little bigger to actually cover who texting me why do you want oh it's my mom sorry janice again all the swimwear in this part of it was 90 percent off besides this last one i think which was still 80 and then this one i kind of got as a joke but now i want to wear it this is a american print bikini set the top is a bandeau top with a little scrunch in the front it is just like that american flag and then the bottoms are just stars in the front stripes in the back little ties on the side i feel like it's something that i didn't need but maybe one day i'll have a use for it so i thought that i should own it this is boring. This is just a crop top. I got it in a size large because I want it to be big. It's literally just called the fine jersey crop top. It's just like a raw edge cut t-shirt. You know, boring. It's just a t-shirt. I have three things in the same fabrics but slightly different items. The t-shirt, this is called the Stevie top. I'm so glad I found this because this also fits perfectly and I love it. The material is super, super soft. I don't know if you can see, it's like super flimsy and like super stretchy. It's this like ribbed material. There you go, you can kind of see. It's got the adorable little like turtleneck, mock neck, and then the sleeves, you can't tell here because they're so like loose, but the sleeves cuff on themselves as well and they hit right about here so they're not three quarter like right above the elbow sleeves and it is full length so it's not cropped this is so comfy because the material is so soft and then the last two things i got i already own this in black and these are the same material as that t-shirt so they're the most comfortable things i saw i think kaylee mckenzie haul the red one mom 
But I saw Kaylee McKenzie haul this one, so I was like, hmm, I like the red. And then they were all on sale, so I was like, I'll get the pink too. These are called the Sophia bodysuit. They're in that same super soft ribbon material, but they have like a bra top on them. Really nice seaming. It has like darts up the middle of it, if you can see. Super comfy. They do have a full back, so you will get like panty lines if you wear them with like leggings, which you wouldn't anyways. But if you do, you'll see that. And then they just have adjustable like tiny straps. Again, like I said, I own it in black. So comfy. So I got the red, which is a really pretty like muted red. And then I also got the blush. If you're looking online, this is the darker one. It's Paulette Pink. They do have a light blush too, but that one's really, really see-through. I was gonna get all of them, then I was like, no, I don't need that. And they have an ivory as well, but now I have them in these two colors. And like I said, I also have the black one. So it's like my collection is complete. Whew. Yeah, that felt like a lot, but also not. But I justified it because like I said, everything was on sale and I'm also not working there for a few months. So I won't have the employee discount, which is like a ridiculously good discount in general. So I kind of did like one haul. It was like 150 to $200 but that'll be me tied over until the summer. Although they're bringing out really good stuff now and I'm sad that I don't work there anymore. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably like be wearing these things sometimes on Instagram. So if you wanna see them on a body that isn't like super cute model's body on the American Pharaoh website, hit me up. Um, if you have questions about any of the specific names or anything, just let me know because I know American Apparel has a lot of items. Um, I know American Apparel has a lot of items that look a lot alike, but aren't the same thing. So if you have questions about names or what certain things are, hit me up. I will try to inform you. Yeah, I have a few other hauls being planned. I have a bunch of stuff from Sephora. This is my one bag, but I have about three orders coming in the mail as well for things that are like super new exciting stuff that just came in hint hint anastasia launched in canada and i lost my shit <laughs> any requests anything let me know all my links to everything as always will be down there and i will see you guys very soon bye